हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीमलाइन टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ बॉइलिंग वर्क्स वी ऑफन सी व्हेन वी हीट वाटर फॉर मेकिंग टी और कॉफी और कुकिंग राइस आफ्टर सम टाइम सम बबल्स फॉर्म एट द बॉटम ऑफ द कुकिंग यूटेंसिल व्हिच ग्रेजुअली राइजेस टू द टॉप ऑफ वाटर लेवल एंड दिस इज व्हेन वी से that the water is boiling water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom if you see microscopically water inside a cooking vessel consists of millions of such molecules which are constantly vibrating and moving very slowly when we apply heat to the cooking vessel this heat gets transferred to the water molecules close to the bottom due to which the intermolecular bonds between the liquid molecules breaks and they gain high amounts of kinetic energy and convert to gaseous phase now since gas molecules move fast these water molecules in gas phase try to move in different directions causing an empty space between the molecules this is what forms the bubble region so a bubble does not contain any air rather water molecules in gas phase since gas phase water molecules have higher kinetic energy these molecules rise up and as a result the bubble seems to rise to the top of the vessel in daily life you may have heard that at high altitudes in mountainous regions water boils faster compared to the inside of your kitchen let's understand why Let's consider the upper region is air and the lower region is water and in between them the interface separating the two Here you can see the water molecules vibrating slowly and many air molecules moving very fast You can see that the air molecules are constantly colliding with the water molecules at the interface and in turn generating a pressure on the surface of water This is the atmospheric pressure exerted by air molecules on the water. This atmospheric pressure is basically compressing the water molecules and not allowing them to move away from each other and create a bubble. So water molecules will require more energy or heat and time to boil at atmospheric pressure inside your house. Now let's consider the same situation but at a higher altitude in mountain regions. at high altitudes very less number of air molecules are present in the air so the number of molecules colliding with water molecules is very less and as a consequence the atmospheric pressure is very low therefore water molecules can easily move away from each other and form a bubble that is why boiling takes place faster in high altitude regions Also when water is heated the water molecules having high kinetic energy in gas phase that is water vapor rise up and collide with the air molecules these collisions with air molecules decrease the pressure exerted by the air molecules on the water surface so it becomes easy for water to boil if vapor pressure is almost equal to the atmospheric pressure that is why some definitions say boiling occurs when vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure I hope you like this explanation kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos